Okay, you guys, so it's, it's 8.20. I'm gonna take rapid fire questions. I'm gonna do the best I can. I like them all. I like them all. Um, I legitimately like them all. Avocado for high temps, don't love it. Do you have a copy of Practical Paleo? I have a guide to cooking fats right there in the book. Do you think Gian AIP is a really big deal? You since our No, I don't. Yeah, I have Tin Star Ghee here. Interestingly enough, I knew Hema from Facebook before she ever started the company. And when she she randomly told me at some point she wanted to start a ghee company, I was like, that sounds like a good idea. And I didn't realize that she hadn't even started the company yet. And I was posting about it and people started buying it. Um, but the product is great. Raw fish is probably my favorite. If I just had to pick one type of protein to eat, that would probably be it. Um, I think lifting is appropriate for everyone. What dieting really does best is help to change your body fat level and what's happening, like how you look on the outside. But if you wanna change what's happening with the shape of your body underneath there, like you could lose a ton of fat and be left with kind of a shapeless figure. And so if you really wanna have that toned look, you do need to lift weights. It's not gonna be like a specific food to eat, like this one food is gonna fix your problems. This is what I recommend if you're pre-diabetic. I recommend doing the 21 Day Sugar Detox. They can be tough to digest for a lot of people. I do cover that in a little bit of detail in Practical Paleo, so if you need to figure out um, a little bit more about it, certain categories of carbohydrates that some people have a tough time digesting for different reasons. There are a lot of different reasons why people might not tolerate FODMAPs. I also have, if you go to balancedbites.com, that's my website, there's a guide called Simplifying SIBO. It's free, just scroll to the bottom of the homepage. You can grab Simplifying SIBO, that might explain some, if she happens to have small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, that would explain why she's not digesting garlic and onions, but it's free. So, you know, it's not there to diagnose anybody, but it's possible that that's uh, what's going on. The biggest difference is that I'm eating leaner cuts of meat. I mean, it's kind of the original paleo diet by Lauren Cordain does talk about lean meats and I am adding fats elsewhere. I did feel a difference with nutrients. I did feel better. I use fermented cod liver oil beauty balm. Yeah, I love taking the collagen. I do feel like I noticed a difference in my skin. I haven't been drinking my shakes as much because I've been so cold. I don't have enough time to talk about the best and worst nutrition advice I've been given, but I'll give you my best advice is that you have to find something that works for you because there is not one thing that works for everybody. Just not. You cannot make anybody your guru or whatever. Like you have to try different things and people just want to get really hung up on dogma and be religious about their nutrition and I'm just not that kind of person and I'm not that kind of teacher either. Yeah, people can definitely calculate their own stuff. People can can decide on their own way of eating paleo too, but having a, a resource and a coach and a guide is always helpful. There will never not be a need for the human interaction that comes from having a coach or a community, even if the information is available online. Some people don't do well without a little more help. More carbs, more protein, less fat. And what I see that doing is really interesting. I think that higher fat can be really satiating for people, but we know that protein's extremely satiating. And I think that in the absence of more fat, I'm doing great with not being hungry, having a lot more protein. The thing about eczema is that it's a sign of inflammation and typically gut irritation. I would try eating soup, I don't know where you live, but getting some bone broth in, getting some of the glycine that comes in bone broth, it's an uh, amino acid that's helpful for healing the gut, and work on healing your gut, and work on just getting some different nutrition into your body. Change it up. If what you're doing isn't working, change it. You know what I mean? Try something different. What I was doing before I started the meal plan I'm on now, obviously wasn't working for me. Thanks for being here, you guys. Really appreciate everyone jumping in with your questions. Good questions tonight, love it.
Thanks, guys. I'll catch you later.